In this video, we're going to unbox a brand new OmniSite Radio Upgrade Kit, then we'll show you how to install it in your field unit. If you just want to see the installation steps, skip ahead to about 1 minute 15 seconds in this video. Once the plastic wrap is off the box, take a look at the side and verify the kit number and the kit type. The kit type should match the label that's on the front of the box underneath the sleeve and should match the type of device you plan to install the kit in. This particular kit is for a crystal ball or an XR50, and I plan to install it in an XR50 in my training lab. Inside the box, you'll find the new radio assembly and four new mounting screws sealed to a cardboard insert with a plastic overlay. Your kit will also have an instruction manual which will walk you through the installation process. To unpackage the radio assembly, flip open the cardboard insert, then peel back the plastic overlay. This will give you access to your four new mounting screws in their small bag, and the anti-static bag which contains your new radio assembly. Be sure to use caution while handling the radio assembly as it contains sensitive electronics. Now we'll take a look at the process to install this new radio kit into an XR50, which should take about five minutes. Open up your control panel, and disable your XR50 to get started. Make sure to allow enough time for the XR50 to complete its communication sequence, which will be indicated by the ready to transmit light returning to a solid red state. This may take a few moments, but is a critical step to make sure your device shuts down properly. Once your device has completed its communication sequence, remove all power from the device. First, unplug the battery, then remove the primary power. Unplug the terminal blocks from the front of your device. Loosen the two thumb screws on the top and bottom of the right-hand side of the device. Now swing the hinge door open to access the interior of the device. Remove the antenna connection from the top of the radio. If your device has the card-based antenna, like the one I just removed, make sure not to misplace it. Now remove the ribbon cable from the main board by lifting up on the hooks that secure the cable and removing it from the socket. Using a magnetic-tipped Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the old radio assembly in place. You don't have to use a magnetic tip screwdriver here, but it certainly improves the process. If these four screws look like they're in good condition, you can reuse them, or you can use the four that were supplied with your new radio kit. Along with the final screw, Remove the old radio assembly from the interior of your device. Your new radio assembly will install in the exact same position using four identical screws. Pay attention to the red or blue power cable coming from the power supply and make sure it passes underneath the radio but is not pinched. You should also pay attention to the ribbon cable coming out from underneath the radio and ensure that it comes out from behind the left edge of the assembly. It's a good idea to start all four screws into their posts before tightening any of them all the way down. Once all four screws are in place, tighten them down and verify that each one is snug. Now plug the ribbon cable from your new assembly into the socket in the back side of the main board, paying attention to the shape of the connector and verifying that it is seated all the way into the socket. Now close the door on your device and re-tighten the thumb screws. Reattach the antenna or antenna cable to the top of the radio.
verify that the connection is snug to ensure good cellular reception. Don't forget to plug in the battery or the terminal blocks to the front of your device before restoring your primary power. Allow time for your device to complete its systems check and then re-enable the device. Once the device has been re-enabled, it should communicate briefly with the server. Once again, this process may take a few moments, but should be complete before you leave the station. Here, you can see the radio come online and immediately start communicating, as indicated by the blinking transmitting light. Once communications are complete, the ready to transmit light should return to solid red. If properly configured, you should receive a notification shortly. Your radio upgrade is now complete. If you have any questions, please contact our support department.